Okay, so in this video I'm going to go over how to do a DC bias point simulation and just generally set up a circuit in LT Spice, a really basic little resistor circuit. This video is sort of being made for my EE2212 Electronics 1 class at the University of Minnesota Duluth, but can be used by just about anybody who's using LT Spice. Okay, so here's LT Spice. Um, Here's the splash screen with the antikythera mechanism in the background. Um, we go up here, click this button to start a new circuit. I've changed the default coloring because I don't really like the gray background and the thin blue components, so I've changed it to a white background and black components with thicker lines. Maybe at some point I'll show how to do that in a video. It's not any different, just the you know, the display looks a little different. Okay, so I'm going to make a really simple circuit here with just a voltage source and some resistors. So if I go up here to component and I find the voltage source, this is just in the default library, voltage is what it's called. I can place that in the diagram, then I click escape to get rid of that because I don't want to place another one. I don't know if ground is in here. Is ground in here? I don't think it is. So for ground, you just press the key G and a ground will come up. I'm sure that's somewhere. Oh, it's up here. That's up there too. I always just click G to get ground. Okay, so for a resistor then, we can either go select res here um, and then control R rotates that. So I'm going to rotate the resistor and place it there. I'm going to click escape. To get a resistor you can also just click the key R and resistor comes up. So I'm going to place two more of them like this. Now to connect all those components you can click wire up here or I think W? No that's not it. I'm not sure what the hotkey for wire is. I just go click that button. So now I'm going to wire the components together like this. So I'm going to make a little voltage divider and current divider circuit all in one. Uh, for the ground I'm going to make that 9 volts. So I right clicked on the ground and for DC value I'm going to put 9. That makes it 9 volts. This V1 right here is the name of the source. So this is source named V1 which is 9 volts. This resistor is resistor R1 and it has value R, so we can change R by right clicking on it and I'll make it 10 kilo ohms. For this resistor I'll make it 22 kilo ohms, so 22K does that. Um, if I just put 47, that's 47 ohms. I can do 47K ohms. If I want to do mega ohms, I don't put M, I have to put MEG like that. If I just put an M there, that's micro, or no, sorry, milla, and then U is for micro, then N is for nano, P is for pico, I, I'm pretty sure F is for femto, but I don't think I've ever used that, so I'm not sure. Uh, G, I believe, is for gig, so if you ever need to use giga ohm resistor or giga farad capacitor or something, that's where it is. So let's make that 47K. Okay, so we just want to do a DC operating point simulation, which, which means we want to find the current through all of the components and the voltage at every node. So to do that, I go up here and I click on Simulate, Edit Simulation Command, and we have a couple choices here. There's Transient, AC, DC Sweep, Noise, DC Transfer, and DC Operating Point. So just click on DC Operating Point. There's nothing to select here. Um, and then that gives you a little word that you place onto the schematic diagram. It's actually going to place that in the net list. Maybe at some point I can talk about that too. Um, but that's the command that we run to get a DC operating point. Now we just click simulate and then run and bam. Um, some versions of LT Spice don't like it when you're file isn't saved, so I'm going to go save this and I'll just uh, replace this file, DC bias point. Um, and let's rerun that. 
Okay, so what this tells me right now is the voltage at node 001 is 9 volts. The voltage at node 002 is 5.39791 volts. The current through R3 is, what's that, roughly 115 microamps. Current through R2 is roughly 245 microamps. Current through R1 is 360 microamps. Um, okay, so you'll see the current through R1 is negative, which means there is a directionality associated with the resistors. So if you get a negative current, which maybe isn't the direction that you wanted the current to be in, you can always just flip the resistor around. So let's cut these wires off of R1. Let's grab it and control R to flip it around twice and reconnect it. Again, um, really doesn't matter a whole lot unless it's important to you in solving a problem somehow. So now the current through R1 is positive, which means it's flowing from left to right from the higher to the lower voltage. Okay, cool. Uh, we can also hover the mouse over um, any one of these components and it'll give us the current through that component and the power dissipation by that component. Keen students of electrical engineering will know that the power dissipation is the current through the component multiplied by the voltage across the component. That's how you get that. So this one's dissipating 3.2, or this one's supplying actually 3.24 milliwatts because uh, it's negative. Um, this resistor is dissipating 1.29 milliwatts. This resistor is dissipating 1.32 milliwatts. This resistor is dissipating 619 or roughly 620 microwatts. Those uh, numbers are shown in the lower left there. Um, cool. The only other thing I want to show is if you want to label the nodes for some reason, like let's uh, let's label these nodes. Let's call this node V1 and this node V2. I'm going to go up here to the label net. It'll be called net in LT space, but we call it nodes usually in circuits classes. So let's call this V1. This is a, a known voltage. It's 9 volts, but let's just for the sake of illustration, let's call it V1. And then we'll call this other node V2. Now when we run the simulation, you'll see that the voltage at node V1 is 9 volts. The voltage at node V2 is 5.39791 volts. So there you go. That's how to do a DC operating point simulation in LT-SPICE.